So gas temperature and pressure is 14 D. So what we're going to look at now is actually the pressure, what is pressure as a definition for gases specifically and how that can be affected by the temperature of the gas itself. So if we just start by having a look at a simple container, so you have a cube box filled with gas particles. Now we should know that the arrangement of gases are very random, they can move in all directions at very high speed, so there's no fixed arrangement and no chemical bonds between them. Um, and what they're going to do is, while they're obviously traveling around this box, they're going to collide with the box itself. So those gas particles will collide with the, the surface of the container. Now, if they collide with the container, it means that they'll apply a force on the container. Now, pressure, as a definition, pressure is the force applied to a surface in one meter squared or per unit area. All right, so if we look down here, force divided by the area, which is an equation we will actually introduce in chapter 15. But essentially the pressure of anything, we're looking at gases specifically, but pressure of anything is the amount of force applied to a meter squared surface area. So the force per unit area, that's the pressure. Now if we're talking about gas pressure, we're talking about what pressure are the gas particles exerting on the container walls. All right, so what force will they apply when the particles collide with the container? Okay, that's the pressure of a gas. The pressure is the force that those particles are colliding with the container and applying on the container walls per unit area. All right? Now, if we keep the container fixed, as in the volume of the container fixed, which we must do in order to keep this a fair test. So the volume of the container is fixed, but I increase the temperature of those particles, then what would happen to the pressure? All right? And it's quite a simple question, it's obviously really straightforward to answer, but you have to understand why. So if I increase the temperature of these gas particles, then the pressure will increase, okay? But why will it increase? Why does the temperature directly affect the pressure? We know from this chapter in 14, right at the start, that temperature is actually a measure of the kinetic energy of the gas particles. So that is the speed at which they're traveling, essentially. So if I increase the temperature, then I'm increasing their kinetic energy directly. And the way that I could increase the temperature, obviously I can add thermal energy via different uh, sources. But if I increase their temperature, then their kinetic energy has increased. Now if their kinetic energy has increased, their speed has very likely increased. And if their speed increases, in the same volume, this is why we must control the volume, in the same volume they're traveling faster, then it is very likely that they will collide with the container walls more often. And an exam question that asks you about explain what happens to the pressure of gas when the temperature increases, your answer is, well, if the temperature increases, the pressure will increase. Your explanation is, because temperatures increase, that means they're traveling faster because their kinetic energy increased. And if they're traveling faster for the same volume, then they are more likely to collide with the wall. So there'll be more frequent collisions with the container. More collisions means more force, which obviously is directly pressure. Okay, so more collisions, more pressure. And that will happen if you raise the temperature because their speed will increase as their temperature increases. And again, we're doing this in a fixed volume specifically because the volume could affect the pressure. I don't want two different things changing at the same time while I'm trying to determine how does temperature affect pressure. I must keep the volume the same, so it's a fair test. Okay, just one more note on this then, that the unit of pressure that we use is Pascals or capital PA, so PA for Pascals. What that means is, one pascal is equivalent to one newton per meter squared. Because pressure is how much force per unit area, how much force in one meter squared, how many newtons per meter squared is a pascal. So that's the pressure, the unit of pressure, and this is how gas uh, temperature and pressure are directly related. Now, the very final thing we need to think about is, can we be more specific in terms of, is it directly proportional to temperature? Is the pressure and temperature of a gas directly proportional? In this graph, you can see temperature on the x-axis in Kelvin is directly proportional to the kinetic energy, the average kinetic energy of those particles, because we said temperature is kinetic energy, 
but specifically in Kelvin. So zero Kelvin, which we said was absolute zero, the lowest temperature possible is zero Kelvin, that's when there is zero kinetic energy in the particles. So if we double the Kelvin temperature, we double the kinetic energy, but not for degrees Celsius. If we were to look at the pressure then, how does pressure change with temperature on a graph? But we had the temperature in degrees Celsius, it's not directly proportional. Because if you go from 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, you haven't technically doubled the temperature. You, for people that don't do physics, for example, that aren't looking at gas pressure in terms of Kelvin and looking at it at this level, 20 to 40 degrees Celsius is technically a double in temperature. However, in true temperature, which is a measure of the average kinetic energy, 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius is not doubling the kinetic energy. So you're not doubling the temperature because 20 degrees Celsius is 293 Kelvin, 40 degrees Celsius is 313 Kelvin, that's not double. You'd have to double the Kelvin temperature to actually double the temperature and therefore the kinetic energy. So if we want to look at pressure, how pressure changes with temperature in degree C, it's not directly proportional, it doesn't go through zero, zero. But if you wanted to look at temperature and you actually had pressure on the y-axis, but temperature was in Kelvin, it would be a directly proportional graph. So pressure is directly proportional to temperature. If you double the temperature, you double the pressure. If the temperature is in Kelvin, not in degrees Celsius. Uh, and that's it for 14, uh, 14 D, uh, gas temperature and pressure. That's all you need to know.